Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> she was beautiful all the way to the end. Hear any better with that? Um, can you talk a little bit so we can test? Would you like me to talk? Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you nice and clear. Very good. Okay. What that works. Work. All right, cool. Great. Okay. Okay, six o'clock. All right, all you Zoomers, are you ready for this? Yes. Okay. All right. Friends and family, we are gathered here today to join this man and woman in marriage. Those who enter into this relationship should cherish a mutual respect and love, share each other's joys, bear with each other's weaknesses, comfort each other in sickness, trouble, or sorrow. By wisdom, a home is built, and by understanding, it is established. Soon, you will be joined in marriage. May your home always have love and understanding, harmony and respect. In love, be forgiving. Lend your strength to each other. Share your joys and sorrows. Have concern and respect for each other. Together you will find it easier to face most aspects of life. Before we proceed, is there anyone in the audience who had something further? Judge. Sir. Oh. Uh, Terry. Yes. Come on. I want to make sure. This is my daughter, Regine. Are you sure? You I want to see. You better verify Before we that do this, right I want to make sure that is Kurt. We don't want any fraudulent marriage here. Oh, it is Kurt. <laughs> you want to see Regine? Oh, oh look at this. Okay. <laughs> you want to make sure. It's Kurt. He has that ugly beard on his chin. <laughs> Now that we have had verification, let us <laughs> Kurt, will you have this woman to be your lawfully wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, in all faith and tenderness, to live with her and cherish her in the bond of marriage? I do. Regina Ann, will you have this man to be your lawfully wedded husband, to have and to hold, from this day forward, in all faith and tenderness, to live with him and cherish him in the bond of marriage. Thank you. And now, Kurt, you get to go first with your vows. All right. Do you want to still on this one? No, no, no. I remember the first time I met you near the clock tower on campus, and I can't help but be thankful that I stopped that day. I knew from the moment that I, shook, I shocked you by kissing your hand when we first met that you would be a part of my life forever. From the moment that we started dating, I knew that I was in love with you, and my love for you would only ever grow stronger as the years went by. When I wake up every day, I can't help but feel at ease and blessed to be marrying the same woman that I've been in love with for the past nine years of my life. I vow that through every hardship we face, any challenge that is put before us, and any twist and turn that we experience in our lives together, that I will always be by your side, supporting you, loving you eternally through it all. I want you to know that there has never been a moment in my life that I have never felt more blessed to have you with me. I vow to love you and to never stop loving you eternally as my wife in this life and the next. I love you, Regine Ann Marie Cecilia Arenas Matsunaga the first. <laughs> From the nine years that I have known you, you have been such a joy to my life and have brought me so much happiness. I couldn't imagine my life without you. You have been my rock and my sunshine all these years. I truly am so grateful to have met you and I feel even more grateful to have you by my side, to be able to call you my husband. I promise and vow to always love you, support you, and put you first. I promise to be faithful, to be loyal, and a shoulder you can lean on in times of need. 
I love you so much and you mean everything to me. I can't wait for what's up ahead and know that no matter what we go through, I will always be here for you as your loving wife. The rings which you are about to place upon each other's fingers are never ending circles. They are symbolic of the vows and promises that each of you have made to the other today and a pledge of your love for one another. Kurt, if you'll take the ring to place on your bride's finger, place the ring on her finger and repeat after me, with this ring, with this ring, I give you my love. I give you my love. And Regina Ann, if you'll take the ring to place on your groom's finger, place the ring on his finger and repeat after me, with this ring, with this ring, I give you my love. I give you my love. May these two people, now married, keep the promises they've made. May you be a blessing and a comfort to each other, sharing in each other's joys, consoling in each other's sorrows, help each other in whatever you set out to achieve. May you, trusting each other, trust life and not be afraid. Just as you have chosen each other today, may you love each other always. And now, by virtue of the authority vested in me by the state of Arizona, and because of the vows and promises you've made in the presence of these witnesses, I now pronounce you husband and wife. And you may kiss. <laughs> Oh yeah, Gilbert. Yeah. With the UFA. Yeah. Then uh, 